So in this video, we're going to talk about the anatomy of some of the key components of our spout bot. We've got our motor, and we've also got a, a single pull double throw lever switch and a single pull double throw sl sliding switch. So we're going to talk about all those. Let's talk about the motor first. The first thing we're going to take a look at is our motor back. So this is a plastic back. It's plastic because it isolates the two electrical contacts. That's the uh, contact that allows the, the electricity to come in and then the contact that allows it to go back out and complete our circuit. So the uh, contact is made out of brass and it is connected to a copper spring. The copper spring has a little piece of carbon at the end of it. That piece of carbon is used to conduct the electricity to our uh, copper commutator. The copper commutator commutes or takes the power from the spring and brings it down into our armature. The armature is made out of a, a winding of, of uh, copper wire and uh, iron plates. These are soft iron plates and so the, the copper winding uh, and the iron plate combination, uh, the iron plates are used because it makes the field a lot stronger. And as you know, if you run electricity through a copper coil, you can generate electromagnetic field. So that electromagnetic field then pushes on some permanent magnets that we have mounted inside of our motor. So there's a permanent magnet here and another one here. Now, an interesting thing is, as the power, the, the one is a north pole magnet and the other is a south pole magnet. So as the power comes in through one brush, goes through the commutator, it creates a particular magnetic field. It creates the opposite field uh, of the magnet that it's, uh, that it's sitting next to. So it pushes against that magnet. Then as the power flows back out, it causes the field to flip. It changes the field. So the magnet on the other side, the permanent magnet on the other side of the motor has to be uh, a different uh, field orientation. So it's a north pole magnet. So we've got a south pole on one side and a north pole on the other. So as the power flows in to the motor uh, from the brush, it goes to the commutator. It goes through the field winding. It creates an electromagnetic force which pushes against the permanent magnet. The per then what happens is the motor rotates and as the motor rotates, the power exits, goes and completes the circuit. And as it does that, the field flips in the, uh, in the field windings in the center there. And so that when that field flips, uh, it pushes against the other magnet and continues the rotation process. So now what we're going to do is talk about our single pole double throw switch. It's a lever switch. You can see there's a lever there and that makes it easier to trigger the switch. So there's one pole and two throws. And what's unique about this switch is when it has one pole and two throws, you can set it up to either turn a light on when you push it or turn a light, turn a light off when you push it. So it just depends on which uh, throw you connect to. So you'll connect one side of the uh, circuit to the pole and the other to one of the two throws and you can get that to turn on and off. So now we've got these two, uh, these are aluminum rivets right here and they go all the way through the switch and they hold the back onto the um, casing. And I believe it's made out of a, the, the back is made out of a thermal set plastic. It looks like it anyway, it's a really rigid plastic. So here are our two throws here. They're the two throws on our motor and uh, you can see the pole there. And so we can connect to those and uh, there's a little contact and you can see when you push on the switch, that little contact moves between the two throws. So it, it changes which throw is allowing power to go through and which throw is not. So if you connect on our spout bot, when we push on this little plastic thing, when the antenna gets pushed, it causes the lever to push on this plastic thing, which pushes on the spring, which causes the contact to shift. And uh, when that happens, the direction of the power going to the motor changes. So instead of flowing in one direction, it flows in the opposite direction. When the direction of the power changes, the motor's rotation changes. So the motor will back up. So when the antenna hits a wall on our spout bot, it causes the spring to push and that causes the electricity going through the switch to, to reverse and that causes the motor to back up so the spout bot can back up. So that's basically how that works. Now we're going to also talk about a single pole double throw sliding switch. Now we're only using this as a single pole single throw switch. So we're not using the two throws that come with it. We're only using one of them. So we're only going to connect to two things. We're using this switch um, as an on off switch. And uh, so it's got a little sliding lever here and we're going to connect to two of these contacts to turn on and off our LEDs and to turn on and off the power to our motors. So you can see the outer housing of the switch here is made out of stamped steel. It's uh, zinc plated 
and uh, it's it basically the holes are punched in, the shape is stamped out, and then it's uh, bent to to create the final shape that you see there. And we have a, uh, a steel spring here that holds the post in place. So when you switch the switch to a different uh, position, it stays and doesn't move around. So there's a steel spring there that helps to lock the uh, switch post in place. And the post is connected to our contact slider. Uh, the post is made out of plastic. The contact slider is, is made out of copper, and that slides between uh, the aluminum uh, tabs on the top of our switch contact. So that slider completes the circuit. Now, in order for us to for this to work in our unit, or, or in our spout bot, I should say, uh, the uh, slider, we have to wire to the center uh, contact and to one or the other of the uh, side contacts. So one in one of the one of our wires needs to go to the center and one of the wires needs to go to the side. And that way we can use the switch like an on off switch. The uh, post that we don't connect to, we can simply bend out of the way because again, we're only using this as an on off switch. We're not using it to reverse polarity or do any of the other kinds of things you could do with a single pole double throw switch. And uh, so those are the key components of our spout bot.